got you good. No worries, just uh, hang in there for a second. There. Good news. Your armor kept you mostly in one piece. So, quick update. This isn't a simulation. We're really on a ginormous spaceship. And the ship's being taken over by... <laughs> now what are you two little gnats up to? Hmm? This is to be my The first of me. Okay, time to get away from all these tentacles and prying eyes. This might feel a bit weird. Alrighty then. Okay. So, how do the humans put it? I've got some good news and some bad news. On the positive side, this colony ship is still operational. Rockwell hasn't completely taken over its control systems yet. The bad news is he's diligently working on doing just that. We need to head to the nearest uplink pad and interface with the ship's various subsystems. Through a virtualized representation of those control systems, we can challenge Rockwell's efforts. If we're able to do that to enough of the subsystems, then we might weaken him enough to confront Rockwell himself, or whatever's left of him, on the ship's main bridge. Yeah. It's a long shot, but if anyone can pull it off, it's you, Survivor. Alrighty well, then, if you think I can. Let's get to it then, shall we? Alrighty guys, so welcome back. Uh, I got some explaining to do. So you guys probably saw last episode where we did the master controller fight and I failed. And then it's just beep and you get the cutscene, the end cutscene. Um, so it's quite literally so, 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 so hard for me to do it solo. I can't do it. Like, I can't. The time it has taken me to get the three, the three, or three times I've had to breed up an army, because the first time, all right, I was able to hit Alt F4 and exit the game before it registered and saved the fact that, hey, I had died. So when I spawned back in, it had registered, all right, you hadn't teleported in yet. So yeah, um, the first time as well, I had Magma Swords, they're all dead. Uh, second time, third time, fourth time, and fifth time, we're all Reapers, and, yeah, the time it takes to breed up Reaper armies is so long, I, I can't do it. Like, I physically do not have the mental strength to do it. Also, look at this gas bag. It's like a pure black one. I'm guessing this is because of the Halloween, or do you... No, you're an R gas bag. Okay, I didn't realize that there was an R variant. Nice. If you guys remember, we had a gas bag by the name of Moo Moo back on Extinction. And then we got the R... Pla was it Platiosaurus? Platiosaurus? Yeah. So these guys make a nice jam. Oh! This is what I was looking for. A Maywing. Now these guys should be very helpful for us. But, unfortunately, I don't have any tools. So... We're going to have to go do some stuff. Now, luckily for me, I do technically have some tools. But unfortunately, I don't have the element for it. Because I need to find a terminal to get it. Now, I don't know where the terminals are on this map. I've never played on Genesis Part 2. So, yay. Ooh, look at this, Mei Ling. You look pretty awesome, my man. Colors-wise. Also, I do believe I have the Fear Evolved event turned on this time around. So I think we should get some Fear Evolved colors. Just because it, it's October, you know? Um. Also, in terms of Halloween videos, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. You don't understand. I am broke right now. And there's one that I've been wanting to get for you guys called A Day Out. And yeah, yeah, I just figured it's perfect. I would record the ever-living hell out of it for you guys. I don't care that there's no other people. I would go solo this game because just the way it looks. 
but I would definitely do it solo for you guys just for the Halloween um, in which I think I might do that so depends uh, I think what we should do is find a base location or should I just explore this episode get my bearings you know that's a good uh, like question I should probably figure that out Luckily for me, though, in terms of equipment, I don't have any element for the guns or, well, yeah, of course, the tech turret or shoulder cannon, which I did bring along. I wanted to get one of those. I unlocked it, quote unquote. So I just wanted to give it a try. But in terms of the tech claws, oh, my, do they actually like match up with the tech suit? Like, hold up. If I hit one and hit K. Now, if I hit one again. Oh my, it actually does line up with it. Doesn't look weird. It actually looks like it's part of the suit. Or I might be just getting a weird angle where it looks good. Who knows? Um, where... Where is the way over to the other ring? Uh, I th think it's that way. I think we have to go this way to get to the other side. I think in terms of exploring this episode, is that's what we're going to do. Because right over there, I'm pretty sure, is the tunnel to the other side of the, the map. Also, this is a big map. It took me so long to get over here. On foot? Oh my, I need to get me a fast fast mount and it looks like there's a teleport pad there you no no those those guys are no i hate them i never want to see them again not after that boss fight why does my tech suit do that as well i think my keyboard's going out i might have to go and get a new keyboard i would honestly invest in a new keyboard re here recently ah! i'm definitely investing in a new mic here you guys have probably heard my this one dying recently. Uh, it's not liking being yelled at anymore. <laughs> but this is laggy. Oh my gosh. Is there low gravity here yet? No. Maybe. It seemed like it. That might have also just been my tech suit. But it appears this map I've seen a couple videos, say, like, from Meebs Gaming on this map, like, Space Mammoth, you know? That meme. But, oh my. This actually looks really awesome. So there's multiple bridges? Oh, I'm betting there's one. There's two here in the middle. Oh, yeah, it's, it's even showing me here on the map. So there's two here in the middle on each. Then there's one on each side, like the far sides of the map. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure those vents up there are the ones that we can get into. Oh! Oh! Is that a space dolphin? Space dolphin! I gotta see the space dolphins. Oh, here they are. Nice. Hi! Ow! You little... I didn't think one punch would kill it. I'm sorry! Don't make me do it! I'll do it! Okay, uh... 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 I shouldn't have gone to see the dolphins. Okay. So, we're going in here to the other side now. This should be the Rockwell Zone, right? So, we're gonna... Um, that's a whale and space dolphins in inside the ship. Okay, right. you're not friendly. You're not friendly. I don't have a spyglass, the problem. No. Ow, ow, ow. Dolphins! Dolphins are attacking! 
Oh my god, and then they got their mom. Oh my. Nope. Uh. Oh, why are we. Now we're running into, like, the dangerous biome. Okay. But, oh my. This is kind of creepy. Like, the, the trees look like they're even, or, like, oh, the trees are even living, look. This thing's a living thing. It's moving, it's got, uh, okay, we got normal trees, it looks like. Where are the things that grow, I think those are what grabbed me right there. Yeah, those look like the... Those look like the fly traps. It'd be funny if they could grab me up here. I don't think they can, though. Luckily. As long as we keep high, I think we should avoid them. Be able to avoid them. So it looks like they spawn our. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, see? That one just grabs something. Isn't there, like, a way inside here somewhere? I want to go look at that. Actually, no. Never mind. Never mind. Let's not. Because that's going to be... I think that's, like, the tech cave equivalent of this map. It's, like, a real end game area. Okay. So, I've headed back over here to, I think, what's called the Eden Zone, right? This is called the Eden Zone. Um, so yeah. We're gonna try and find a place here to set up a base. Now, if we can find a place to set up a base, we should be good. And the plan is, a, essentially, we're gonna do... Uh, you know what? I was thinking about this, and it was just because... I don't know, maybe. it. It's a dumb idea. I don't even want to say anything about it, because then it would get your guys' hopes up. But we would definitely be doing a building video on it. So if I can just, how about this? Instead of trying to find a place to build, I am trying to find a mission terminal because I'm pretty sure I can use that like a transmitter, right? Without having to get me a transmitter. Ooh, this place could be good for a base. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't mind this. The tower. Hey. I'll HLNA, do you got... No, you don't. Welcome to the Hexagon um, Exchange. But my ex Hexagon's transferred over, actually, with me. So, that's actually a really good thing. I got a lot of Hexagons, then. Um, okay. We're gonna buy one of these. Cheers, Survivor. Uh... I already have the mohawk hairstyle. So it gave me... the. These are the only two things I'm thinking about keeping because I could actually use them. Especially the net projectiles. That's actually really handy. Um, ain't gonna lie. I underprepared. All I gave myself to come over with is I grabbed a pair of these after I crafted them up and of course the tech rifle and of course that on my back i lost everything in those fights like all my good gear shotgun is gone all right shotgun is gone now i might have to head back to extinction and actually go get me some good gear and work on that because this is just stuff i got just real quick my first run over there i didn't really get anything good I think I transferred I transferred over the guys from Genesis 1 so that way they're all over on you know extinction and then yeah. So, I think that's where I'm going to keep all those guys. But there's got to be a mission terminal around here somewhere. There, see it? I don't think you guys can see it. It's like see where that is? It's right in the middle of the crosshair. I swear that's a mission terminal. 
Or it might just be a weird rock. Please don't be a weird rock. Your mission terminal, I was right. Okay. So as long as we got a mission terminal, we are in the good. Okay. We need to... It started raining on us. Nice. We need to grab this stuff. So I got a tech transmitter. An element. That is, this is legit all I brought with me. So. Now I got... I don't. Well, I could have honestly had that stuff on me. Because the way I did that is... Again, I hit the command to ascend off of... Genesis Part 1. With this gear on me. The gun. The turret and the claws the tech armor is legit given to you when you load on the map i could have probably just had the transmitter and element on me you know, you know i guess that gave me something to do this episode look for the element you know but now i think i need to find there that big tower over there would be a really good place to start because that's a very rememberable place Especially if I do decide to do the base I want to. Now, this is just a thought base. It's it's kind of like a concept base like Crush. Alright? Crush base is awesome. I would definitely 100% bring Crush base over if I could. I might even try. Okay. Um, we're almost to the top of the tower, but we're able to see... It's getting nighttime now, so we're able to see outside into space. I mean, we could have seen out into space when we were in, the, in between, but uh, we had a disaster with some dolphins. And then we got attacked by dolphins and a whale. Oh, God! I fell. We're good. We're good. I mean, this is not a bad place to, I'd say, call it a, call it a day. I mean, it's a nice spot. It's safe. I could set my transmitter up here, store my stuff in it, transport back teleport back over come back get my stuff call it i mean i mean like not this episode i mean i'm gonna transfer over probably get the stuff i need like my kibbles and all that because i should have brought over kibbles uh i didn't bring over kibbles i don't know why i didn't think about that but yeah i need kibbles so i'm gonna go and get this all ready and going and <laughs>